everything we did on the weekends involved being next to the river and fishing. So whether it was here or another spot uh, close by around Fairmont, we usually gathered here to go catfishing at night. And it was for all intents and purposes, just a typical Friday night uh, that we would spend down here hanging out next to the river and fishing. It was somewhere around, I want to say midnight. It wasn't uncommon for us to stay here into the early morning. Uh, we all lived just a couple of minutes away, so it really wasn't a far drive. Um, <clears throat> so it was one of those nights where we were sitting down here. It was dark. We all had lines in the water. And out of the corner of my eye, if I'm sitting right here with our lines into this bigger pool, um, out of the corner of my eye, I saw something reflecting in the moonlight. It was a pretty clear night, so we had good light from the moon. And at first, when I looked over, <clears throat> you, know, you, you see something that is intruding the flow of the water. So you see the water, you know, as the if it was going water. around a rock. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw what looked like it, it was it was a circle. It was big. So I just thought it was, you know, possibly a ball, something floating. Uh, you know, I didn't really give much thought to it. But then as it kept swimming, I looked back and I could see what looked like a snake, a snake-like movement <clears throat> somewhere behind this ball. So, you know, going through it in my head, I'm trying to think, well, what am I seeing right now? Spend a lot of time next to the river. You know, I've always been an outdoorsman, just like Jake. So, you know, trying to make sense of something that isn't normal to see. And then I realize it's one, it's all one thing. You know, it's all one creature of some sort. And immediately I turn to them and I just go, what is that? Do you guys see that right there? I'm going to freaking out because I can't see it clearly. I could just see it from the moonlight. And we all had headlamps, but they, they couldn't get out to the middle of the river. So <clears throat> they started freaking out. Jake was like, we just saw that thing last week and we didn't know what to say. I'll let you explain yeah, I mean, that part. We were doing the exact same thing we were doing the night that Nate here saw it. Another buddy of mine, Alex, me and him were sitting here catfishing around almost the same time between 10 at night, 12, midnight, mm -hmm. around there. Right out here, it looked like what we thought, we, it looked like someone swimming on their hands and knees crawling across the rocks. And we were like, wait, wait, okay, let's scream out, let's holler out at this guy. Maybe, you know, maybe a, a bum fell in the water. <laughs> let's go see if we can save him. And then we're sit yelling here, sitting here yelling at this black shadow crawling up the rocks and we realized it wasn't even looking, wasn't acknowledging us, and then that's when we saw the snake-like tail that was going behind it. So we were like, oh my gosh, it's a big it's a big fish or a muskie stuck on the rocks. Let's see if we can gig it and drag it up with two poles. So we started casting towards it and it we realized that it was actually swimming upstream when the water levels were easily six feet higher than what they are right now. And I don't know any kind of fish that would swim on the surface as fast as it was swimming upstream. <clears throat> that was when we realized, you know, hey, this might be something else. Let's, let's get on Google. It, it lingered. It didn't react to us yelling at it, throwing lines at it. It just kept on doing what it was doing. Didn't even blink an eye, acknowledge us or anything. And then eventually it was just gone. It slowly went over all the shallow rocks and then it just disappeared. Yeah, and I mean, the night that all, we all saw it, mm -hmm. There was this mad dash to try to get some kind of light on it. So we're all set up right where we're standing. And then in probably the window of 20 seconds, we tried to jump into a vehicle to turn it around so we could get some headlights on the river. And by the time we had got everything situated where we would have, you know, good illumination on the river, it was, it was gone. So for about 10, 10 seconds there, just seeing it swim, there was that, there was that moment where you were like, okay, this is real. Like, it's not, you know, it's not just a log because it's making a motion as if it's and swimming. it's going upstream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So seeing that, seeing it, something that big fight against the current going up, you know what you're seeing is something like, you know, not natural to this area. You know, you kind of get a feel for what, you know, what sizes fit where inside of the river. This was way bigger than anything that we'd ever seen. Um, and I mean, just the size of the head in general was enough to kind of take your breath away. And the link. The, yeah. The and I mean, when you put together that it's all one creature, it's the, the sheer distance between the head and the tail. You're like, oh my gosh, what the hell is that thing? 
So how long would you say, like, what would you compare it to, like a small I mean, child or? No, it was, it was much bigger than that. I mean, from head to the end of the tail, Jake, yeah. uh, it, was it was a good easily 10, 10. 10 feet. And I mean, that could be on the low end 10 from, feet or more. from the head to the tail mm -hmm. because, you know, you don't, you only see so much of it because it's swimming. So if you take it out of water, all I know is I, I know what a, a alligator snapping turtle looks like. I've caught them before. And they do get massive. And I wouldn't be surprised if it is just a massive variation. But the point of it being is just for how shallow the water is here. And just general familiarity with the river. You know that that is something that is is existing and thriving here that otherwise shouldn't be. You know, it, it, was, it was very baffling seeing that. And then without having any idea what we were seeing, we chalked it up to you know what, we're just going to be three crazy people that are just going to spin this yarn about, you know, something we saw on the river that we couldn't explain. And that is when we came across the article that said there, this, this creature has a history. It has its own legend. And as soon as we saw it and, and read the details about it, it just snapped like that. We had, that had to have been it. You know, we've never seen anything like it since we've only saw it. Those, you know, the, the time they saw it and then mm -hmm. the time I saw it. And, um, and it kind of brought it full circle and it was a vindicating experience. Cause I'm like, I'm not crazy. Right. I know that I'm not nuts. And what I saw, I, it was very hard for me to explain to anybody else without sounding crazy. So I get how it sounds, but you know, you, you have three people that saw it for sure and could all affirm and acknowledge that it was something that, that absolutely shouldn't have been in this river. Or maybe it should have. I mean, I, you know, who, who am I to say? <laughs> it, it was it was nice that you got to see it after my friend and I saw it. Mm -hmm. Because when we saw it and we're explaining it to you, we felt crazy. <laughs> but when you saw it with us, it was yeah. sort of like, uh, holy smokes. What we right. saw might have we been We weren't something. hallucinating. We weren't, the moonlight wasn't playing tricks on us. That right, time. right. Mm -hmm. so, so how did like, people like around you, like your friends, your... your um, family how did they react to like they, they, they guys laugh <laughs> they laugh i mean it's you know I, I have a romantic relationship with the river and it's it's my happy place so i'm down the river a lot um so when i tell them that it's easy for the, them to turn around and just kind of nod you know okay that's great what are you supposed to do with that information you know my family or my friends aren't exactly going to spring up and say let's go get it <laughs> you know so there was there was a lot of scrutiny that came along with saying it but knowing that that was coming i was like i know what i saw right and, and that was enough for me to be able to retell that to retell the story but family and friends they, they just don't get it i guess you know <laughs> unless you see it how, how could you make up your mind about it right. you know and, and just seeing it alone and knowing is is someone that's common to the river that that had no place i've never seen anything like it i've never seen anything like it it was enormous completely unnatural for yeah this, for this area for this ecosystem absolutely and i mean it it must dominate uh this this river and keep itself you know keep a very low profile for itself because you, you i've never seen it since you know i don't even see a lot of turtles in this river but what we saw was enormous beyond beyond comprehension as far as I'm concerned. Given how big it is and everything, were you guys ever like afraid that it might come and attack you uh, or no? I mean, the, the 12 year old kid in me just came out full swing. Like, <laughs> oh my exciting. gosh, like, really exciting, how can we yeah. catch it? Like, <laughs> yeah. like how can we see it, it again? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, just the, the curious river, river boy in me just came <laughs> out like, how do you identify that? And who's gonna believe us? I mean, how do you even explain it? You can't even say what it is. You know, it's definitely, there's been rumors all the way as far as Pittsburgh, northern Pittsburgh on the Allegheny River that there were gate alligator sightings, which are, are to me the same kind of gravitas as you're trying to prove something in the, is in this river that otherwise shouldn't be here. So it kind of fell in line with that. Like, what are you really seeing here? And, and for so long, there was no way to clearly identify it because we didn't know what it was. We just knew it was big and it was alive. Um, and then that's when we read the story about the fabled uh, Agua, <laughs> <laughs> or to us, the spooter. You know, you figure out it's, it's said to have been a giant mix between a snapping turtle and an alligator somewhere in between. And it made complete sense 
safe to say most people have seen a river with a current and you've seen a rock in that river and the water displacing around that rock well just think of that rock but it's moving and it has a giant tail right that that's what we were seeing and and how do you you know how do you put your emotions together and really express like what you're witnessing some kind of phenomenon that you can't explain so automatically every receptor in your body is just going off like a bottle rocket trying to figure out what it is you're looking at and that's that's the kind of thing that we saw it looked like a rock displacing all this water moving up river and it's like what what you know is a movie being filmed that no one told us but yeah. i mean sure enough it, it was alive and there's a story behind it so you know there's got to be at least some percent chance that there's something in there. Yeah. It's very old. These hills are very old. These rivers are very old. A lot, you know? of, a lot of creeks right. and stuff. <laughs> yeah, There's a lot of places to hide if you don't want to be seen. I mean, it's it's said to trap deer. I mean, what kind of what kind of <laughs> amphibian do you know that that could trap deer this far north? Couldn't have lasted more than a couple. Minutes. I'd say less than ten minutes, more than five. Yeah. I mean, the whole event itself, from the time we actually saw it to the time we all came to terms with whatever that was, isn't there anymore. I mean, three minutes? Yeah, and trying to cast at it. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, it, it was a very, very short window. But, I mean, I think the fact that it was seen twice within the same, let's say, ten days. Mm -hmm. and I Same mean, spot. By, by three different people, I, you know, I know how it sounds. I know how <laughs> easy it is for, for us to look like lunatics. <laughs> But I could tell you right now, we're very uh, stable people, I guess, for the if, if you could label it as anything. <laughs> and I knew what I was seeing was something that I'd never seen before. So, you know, you take it for, you, you believe what you want, but <laughs> there's something in here, yeah. you know? Right, <laughs> that's exactly. That's all, I guess that's it for me. Yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> said all I had to say. Yeah, all right. Good all right. luck, watch Thank your toes. You guys.